In this video, I want to talk about um, Server Google Tag Manager Preview Mode. So, um, understanding Server Google Tag Manager Preview Mode and how it works is extremely useful when debugging the setup. Uh, so though the preview mode looks extremely simple to what we have inside the WebGTM, though there are some additional elements added like clients and even data and console. So, let's open the uh, Server Google Tag Manager preview mode and uh, I will quickly explain what what each tab means. Uh, so basically you have like four tabs here, it's requests, tags, variables, event data and console. So let's start with the first one. Um, request tab uh, shows you basically incoming and outgoing requests. Um, and if it was claimed by any client. So um, the, the, the standard way of delivering data to SGTM is uh, like send request from your WebGTM. So um, after you configure the like a tagging server URL for your Google Analytics 4, and uh, it means that Google Analytics will send requests to your SGTM container. Um, uh, to claim this request, you need to configure like uh, a Google Analytics client and Google Analytics tag inside the uh, SGTM. So let's uh, check the example. So, uh, for example, uh, I have here a collect request from uh, Google Analytics, um, and you can see like why I uh, like they say that it's the request from Google Analytics is that it starts with a collect. So basically, this is a normal behavior of uh, GA4 requests. Uh, when you click on the uh, request, uh, you can see here uh, information uh, which client claimed the request. Uh, then you can see uh, outgoing requests uh, made by the server container. And um, it basically, it means that uh, uh, there, are, there were like two tags that uh, send, uh, basically not two tags, it can be one tag, but two outgoing requests that were sent by uh, tags inside the SGTF container and incoming requests. So basically incoming request is uh, what was delivered from your uh, Web Google Tag Manager container to the server one. Uh, in case you want to uh, see the details of incoming or outgoing request, you can expand it. And um, here you will have all the information uh, about the incoming request, the same with outgoing request. Um, yeah, so um, uh, this can be useful if you want to understand which information was exactly, for example, uh, sent to Facebook. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, like uh, this is the incoming request by Google Analytics 4 that was claimed by Google Analytics 4 client. And uh, then we have a two outgoing requests. Uh, one was made by Facebook uh, to understand which tag used the request and send data to other platform. Just uh, check here. Uh, so as you can see, it's Facebook conversion API and uh, uh, the tag name is Facebook, Facebook page view. You can just click again on this tag and, uh, and see the details. Uh, the second outgoing request uh, is to Google Analytics. So basically, uh, Google Analytics tag inside the SGTM container claim this request and send data to, to GA4. Um, you have the same level of details uh, either when you click on the request uh, uh, section or on the event section. Uh, another uh, uh, useful thing that you can see here on the request tab is basically the status. Uh, of the outgoing request. Uh, if you can see 200, uh, 204, it means that everything was correct. Uh, but for example, if I go to my um, page view, uh, sorry, purchase event, um, you can see that uh, the status of uh, Facebook tag is uh, 400. It means that something is wrong. Uh, I, I can, I will show you later how to understand what is wrong. Um, okay, so the next tab that we have is basically tags. Um, uh, here you can see the uh, tag uh, details on the event level. If you click on the uh, request level, you will see the same uh, tag uh, details, but if you expand it, uh, like expand the fiery tags, you won't be able to see any additional information. So if you want to see like additional information, click on the event level, expand this, and here you will see all the values and names uh, that were sent uh, using the tag. Uh, you can also uh, show here 
uh, all the tags that uh, did not fire. Again, like uh, it's very important here to see the status of the tag if it was like succeeded or no. So basically, it uh, correlates with the uh, status of outgoing requests that we saw in the request tab. And again, let's let me show you the example of uh, purchase tape. You can see that uh, none of the tags were fired. The third type is variables. So uh, variables type uh, is uh, uh, like a, the most uh, similar element to the WebGTM. Uh, basically, what you can see uh, in the variable tab is basically uh, like variables on the each uh, event of the request. So if you click here summary and uh, select variables, then you would not see anything here because variables uh, are available only on the event level. So basically, if you even if you um, clicked on the request, uh, they won't show anything. Uh, you need to select um, event. Uh, so uh, how variables uh, appear in the SGTM preview? Uh, so uh, uh, the, the, like when a, a request is sent to the SGTM uh, container, client claims the request. And uh, what client does, it parses request uh, to the event data and uh, then uh, from the event data variables are created. So uh, similar to the uh, WebGTM, there are some built-in variables. So there you can see that there is not much uh, built-in variables and uh, like there are also like user uh, defined variables that can like uh, consist of uh, uh, very built-in variables and uh, as well as variables from the template gallery. So yeah, one uh, important thing about SGTM is that uh, there are template galleries for tags and variables, but uh, uh, template gallery is not available for clients. So in case you have some custom client that you want to use, you just need to download it from GitHub and uh, then just import it uh, using uh, like new uh, then import and then select the file. Okay, let's go back to the variables tab. So once you click on the certain event, uh, you can see like all the uh, variables uh, that are available. So um, some variables are like pre-configured, like for example, uh, client name, um, and uh, some uh, other uh, variables were created. For example, uh, X device bot is uh, a variable that uh, takes information from the request header. Or, for example, visitor region. So, it uh, this is uh, the built-in variable that helps to define a GA4 text GA4 text behavior based on the user uh, region. Next, uh, let's move to event data. Um, I would treat uh, event data as a data layer inside the WebGTM. So basically, uh, event data is everything that uh, was parsed by the client from the incoming request. Uh, so again, event data is available uh, on the event level, and it's not available on the request level and on the summary level. So if you want to see uh, event data, just uh, select a certain uh, event. Uh, here you can see the client that claimed the request and uh, the event data that was parsed from the client. So um, normally this is like a very uh, big amount of data and uh, uh, each client has their own like event data structure, but Google has like a, a documentation on how to um, build your own clients and uh, the way like a, a set of standard uh, event uh, uh, request parameters uh, that can be parsed uh, in the event data and can be used inside the SGTM. And so yeah, as you can see here, you can see the client uh, that claimed the request, uh, some information, and the most useful is uh, event data. So basically, if you want to extract, for example, let's say, email address from your event data. So the process is uh, similar to WebGTM. Just uh, go to SGTM, click uh, variables, and then click new, and then select here type event data and just uh, type a key path. So pretty similar to what you have inside the um, WebGTM. 
Okay, um, so this is it for event data and let's go to console. Um, so why uh, console is a new element inside the SGTM? Why it is needed? Because basically uh, one of the ways of debugging web uh, GTM and web uh, tagging setup is using a console like of your website. You just uh, uh, open the console and uh, see all the errors. Uh, since the communication of request tags uh, inside the SGTM is done on the server level, basically there is no way how to like uh, access the console. So the console is not available. And uh, uh, this is why like console tab uh, was created, uh, was added to the SGTM. So uh, if you go to the summary tab, uh, you can see here like all the uh, console messages uh, that uh, um, um, that were uh, received uh, uh, after firing all these uh, uh, e events uh, and uh, requests. Um, so uh, the biggest uh, uh, like benefit of console tab is that uh, here if you have some issues with the tag you can see why the tag for example was not fired uh, let's take this one as an example uh, so you can see here on the event purchase tab uh, Facebook tag and LinkedIn tag failed yeah, so basically, again, you can see here, you can uh, click on outgoing request and you can see that the status is 400, which means that something is wrong. Um, you can check, like you can open this uh, values of the parameters of the tag and uh, see what is wrong here. But uh, um, you know, like if you are super experienced, maybe you will be able to detect the issue uh, that prevents the tag from firing. Uh, but uh, on the other side, what you can do is go to console and uh, uh, here you will see all the errors uh, that were received on this event. So basically you can see there are five errors and uh, now we're looking for um, to debug what is wrong with the Facebook purchase tag. Um, so we can see here that there are like uh, one, two, uh, two logs. Uh, of inside the console for the Facebook purchase tag and let's see what's going on. So basically this is the um, like response for, from the Facebook tag and uh, inside this response you normally can find uh, what is the issue. Yeah, so basically what you need to do is fix the currency parameter. Let's see the other request. So here we do not see any error. Uh, it's just a response from the tag. So. Uh, uh, the same you can, for example, check here, like uh, there is a problem with Google Ads purchase tag. Um, and uh, what console suggests you is to mark uh, purchase as a conversion inside the GA4. This is like one of the first ways uh, how to uh, debug your SDTM setup. So just simply open the console and uh, check uh, the like console event data if tags were fired for each tag. Um, besides that, we also have a video how to debug and troubleshoot the SGTM setup and it uh, uh, contains more like uh, wider information. And uh, you, for debugging and monitoring the server-side tagging setup, you can use tape logs, uh, monitoring feature and uh, tape logger tag. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next videos.